In the following video, we are going to check the SVGA driver version in your master image from Horizon. So this is my master image. It's my Win10 Gold image that we can see here. And I have my Horizon agent and VMware tools installed. Now, I'm just going to verify by typing appwiz.cpl, which is the application wizard. And when this opens up, you should be able to see that I have both the Horizon agent and VMware tools installed. Now, it's very important to note that in the order of installation, we should be installing the VMware tools before we install the Horizon agent. Because if we don't, we can actually run into a problem. And the problem can be seen when we look at the device manager. So I'm just going to go uh, dev management .msc, and where this can potentially be an issue is for the SVGA driver. So if I expand display adapters and click on the VMware SVGA 3D and I go to the driver version, I can see that the driver version here is 8.16.1.24. And this is, this is very important information because if I install the tools in the agent in the wrong order, then the agent version of the SVGA driver could be overridden by the tools version of the SVGA driver. So I could end up with the wrong version that Horizon requires. This can happen for multiple different reasons. If I'm using an older version of tools, this could change. If I'm using a newer version of the agent, this could change. But there's a specific version of the driver that needs to be used per Horizon version. And we can see that clearly if we come to this KB article. So I've already got this open in my browser. It's KB article 207-8739. And if I scroll down towards the bottom of this article, it actually gives me a list or a table of the SVGA driver version on the right, so we can see that, against the Horizon version. So in my lab, I'm running 7.10. And I can see that the 7.10 is meant to have the 8.16.1.24 version. And if I come back to my machine, I can see that I'm running the 8.16.1.24 version. So I can see from this point that I'm at the right SVGA driver version for my master machine. If you couldn't connect to a desktop or if you were running into problems with your connections or even your provisioning, this would be a very important first place to start. Verifying that the tools and the agent are installed in the correct order will ensure that you won't have future problems once you try to provision or expand your pools. A very quick check against this table will let you know whether you have an older agent or if the version isn't what it's meant to be. This would be our recommendation as a first step to check when you're running into connection issues. That completes this video. Thank you.